Hi, so quick video, you'll uh, probably be aware if you've seen my other videos, I've been using some of these NRF24 uh, transceivers, um, but they're a bit of a bugger to set up, you need a whole microcontroller for them, you see I've taken it out of the board, I need it for something else. Um, anyway, they're, these transceivers only a pound or so on eBay for a pair of them. So what I've been messing about with the last couple of days, are these uh, wireless transceivers, uh, got them on eBay, about £14 for a pair. Uh, they're pre-aligned, they've already got like a microcontroller or something on there controlling the transmission and the receiving. These might well be the NOF uh, Nordic chips, but not too sure, I think they've been reprinted. By default, when you get a pair, the address is something like zero, uh, but it's programmable up to 255. I think the address and channel numbers, that sort of stuff. Um, a word of advice, I've been trying to communicate with these using this, which this works, you will see from my previous videos, this works if I hardwire a GPS to it. It's just a standard USB to TTL converter. This device does not like these wireless transceivers. Uh, they're all set up at uh, 9600 board rate. Um, same as this, but that will not... It makes light flash on enough to say it's receiving data, but it will not send the data to the PC. So, if you need to program them, what I actually did, I tried my um, sort of emulator, my uh, pick kit or pick circuit programmer uh, and that worked a treat. Um, just plug this into there, four wires, uh, send the data to the transceivers, change the address, change the board rate, change the channel. Um, so that worked a treat. This is actually a programmer, about 14, 15 pound. They do actually do uh, a USB to serial adapter as well. Maybe their serial adapter will, will work with these. But if you're going to buy more than one pair, you'll need some sort of programmer to change the address, just using the AT commands. Uh, so, what I've got set up here, you'll see from the other video, uh, just regular GPS. You see it's flashing there because it's lost the 3D fix. Um, four NICADs, but I've got a little 3 volt, 3.3 volt regulator strapped to the back. So you see to the GPS power and the TX out, which goes to the RX in on this little, I forget what they're called, our AT11 wireless UR TTL the serial converter module. Uh, and you get two pieces for about £14. Um, I actually bought these on eBay. So I'll quickly show you there, I found them there. He must have run out because he's put the price up to £72. That keeps the listing on eBay in case you're not familiar with that. Um, so you see two pieces of wireless UART serial TDL RS232 COM transparent converter modules. Uh, and they work really well. So what, wait till the price comes back down to something like £14. What's that? Something like I don't know, $20, $22. Uh, and get yourself a couple if you want wireless UART. So what I'll do, I'll go and stick this lot back in the garden so we get a decent 3D fix and then I'll show you what I'm doing. Well, so I've set up my EasyBit version 7, um, set up Microelectronica's sample program for the GPS, I think GPS 2 click or something, uh, and you'll see so no wires running to a GPS, they're just a simple wireless UART, so power, ground, transmit and receive. Although if you're not going to send data back to the other module, you obviously only need the receive out of here, or TX to receive on the board. Uh, so, And if you look down there on the screen, you see it's got the location and the time and date. Uh, sorry, just the time on this one. 1548 and you see the little thing flashing up there to say 
I am in the UK somewhere. But so if I turn it off, so now I've got the GPS outside, it picks up the data, you get a 3D fix within a few seconds, and then obviously this board fires up quickly. So if you look at that display, see before I even had time to focus the cameras, got the location. So that's just demonstrating these transceivers, wireless transceivers. Simple setup, three wire, unless you want to program it or transmit data back and then it's four wires, uh, as opposed to these NRF units, which you got, how many, let's see how many wires they got, apart from their bugger to set up, and you need a separate controller, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight wires. I mean, these are obviously cheaper, but then you need a controller to drive them. These wireless UARTs have got the controller on board and it's all done for you. So that's it. Right, what I've done here is connected my Pickkit 2 programmer uh, to the wireless UART. So there's the UART. Transmitter there, four wires. Let's zoom back out a bit. So we've got not pin one, not pin one's master clear, so power, ground, transmit, receive, or might be receive, transmit. That's what you need to do via like a programmer or a decent serial interface, uh, enable to program more than one controller. So if I get you zoomed in here, so in case you're not aware, with the Picket programmers or even microchips programmer, you go to tools, down a UART, a clear the screen, so it defaults to 9600 bore rate, connect. So that's my wireless UART connected directly to the Kit programmer and that's streaming data and that no glitches at all and you see we've got a 3d fix all locations everything are on there no missing data and the other transmitter is out in the garden but I was messing about with the programming of this module and what you have to do although they say hold a ground one of the pins for a few seconds you have to permanently ground one pin while you're trying to program it and all I did was set up some code down there hopefully you can see that you send an AT and if the thing's working it comes back with OK send the AT plus V that comes back with the version number uh, AT so that's the address of the receiver or transmitter you can set it to like 123 for example from 0 to 255 and one's address and one is channel number. Uh, so I was just messing about with random codes, making sure they, they communicated. Actually, I nearly forgot. So this is the early Picket programmer from PickCircuit.com. I think it was about £15, many, many years ago. That's the, you see, version one. I bought this and stripped it down last night. This is actually the version two or three, whatever they call it. And this would not drive one of my boards. The, the USB power couldn't drive the board and program it. I had to source like a separate supply for the, for the board and then use this to program it. So if you got one of these later programmers, this would not drive this transceiver. So I don't know how many, I think this draws like 12 milliamps. I sent one of these back to pickcircuit.com and they said there was nothing wrong with it but they kindly sent me another and this cannot drive any load or very little if you've got something more than a a Nats whisker uh, it won't drive it you get no, no power so if you've got these um, later pick circuit programmers uh, you could possibly bridge the USBs you'd just get 5 volts straight out but don't know if that interferes with the programming, mine do. But this earlier one is, well it's like gold dust. 
because this drives everything and works with everything. Their later one doesn't and they tell me there's nothing wrong with it. It wouldn't drive a board I was trying to program and it won't drive one of these. And there's no LEDs or anything on it, nothing drawing any amount of current, just a few milliamps. And this later programmer wouldn't drive it, so pick sir, get your buggered your new ones up. Bloody rubbish. Stick to the old ones if you've got one. Thank you very much.